As we continue to enhance Groups 2.0, we are seeing more and more excitement around this feature set. But one of the questions that we commonly get is what is the best way to migrate from 1.0 to Groups 2.0? We'll check it out. All right, we're going to go to People, People Query, search by Individual or Participant Assignment, Room Location Class, and then we're going to find the group that we want to move into the new Groups model. Take Simmons 30 Flower Mound, run. I select everybody and I create that new group like so. And I give it the exact same name that it had before. Add to new group. And that's how we populate the new group. Now I need to establish some leadership over there. So I go to Groups, View All. I select the group that I just created. Click the magnifying glass next to the leader, identify this person as the leader, and save the changes. And I can do that for one or more leaders in each of these groups. And I just walk through that process for every group that I have. That's how I populate the groups. Then I want to turn around and I need to communicate to those group leaders. I need to tell them, hey, make sure you go out there and try this new thing that we're moving toward. So to do that, first, I'm going to go to web link and links. And I see that this is the path that I want to share with my group leaders. I want to send them to the home page where they can sign in and start working with their groups. So I'm going to copy that link. And I'm going to go over to groups, view all, click the groups tab here at the top, which reflects all of the groups 2.0 groups that you just created. I select all of them, show leaders and members. Once I'm in that view, I can filter down on just the leaders, like that. Then I select everybody, and in the action, I say send an email. And then I'm going to give them an email. And with that, I'm going to give them the link that I want them to go out there and try and send it. Wasn't that easy? Enjoy.